When you download and unzip an archive file, you sometimes end up with hundreds of other archives inside it, especially if you're downloading retro game ROMs. Windows can only unzip these one at a time, which can take forever. But there is an easier way. Let me show you how. I've just downloaded a file which contains a number of games that I want to play on my retro computer emulator. But when I open up that file and extract it, I find that the actual games that I want, which are listed in here, are all held inside their own individual zip files. So I need to come in here and I need to open up the game I want, take the game file and save it into my disks area. And if I come back out to here, you can see that there are a lot of files that I need to go. There are literally thousands of games that I want to have a look at. So doing it one by one is obviously going to take me hours and hours. If I try to do it using a multiple select and then try to extract just one file using Windows, and I say extract all, I can tell Windows where I want to put them. So if I come in here and my disks, but then if I actually extract that, and extract them all, and then go into my disks area. So I come back to my disks area. All it's done is extract the single file that I right clicked on. It didn't actually extract all those ones I wanted. So I need a way of getting them fast. And to do that, I need a different program. And what we're gonna use is something called 7-Zip. So if we head over to the website 7-Zip.org, You'll find this application here, and, and this is an open source bit of code, so there's no, nothing to pay for this. So download the one that's relevant to your system and install that. So once that's installed, open up the app, and then we'll check a couple of settings in the Tools and Options menu on the 7-Zip um, tab. So just make sure you have the context menus turned on and the cascading context menu, and then the various settings here all ticked. So OK that. So we can now close down 7-Zip. And if we right click on anything now in Windows Explorer, we now have a 7-Zip context menu option that lets us do a certain number of things. So we've now got all of our zip files sitting here and we want to extract all of them into this folder called disks. So I can just simply highlight them all doing control A. Now, if I right click on that, I can do seven zip and I can say extract files. The, the, the other extraction options then are we can extract to here. So in other words, it will extract all the files and put them in this folder or we can extract to star slash. And what that means is that it will take each individual zip file. So it would take this zip file here, create a folder for it called 3D Convoy, so on, and then take the files out of the zip file and put them in that new folder. So, but we want to, to go here and we just want to get the individual files out of these and stick them into this folder. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to do 7-zip, extract the files. This brings me up a dialog box of what I want to do. So I'm going to select my folder. So I'm going to say extract the files into my disks folder. This little line here, this tells me what sort of to do for each of the zip files. So at the moment it's got a little tick box and it says that star slash. And that just simply means create a new folder for each of the individual zip files. But again, I don't want to do that. I just want to extract all the individual game files and put them into this folder. So I'm going to let that untick that box there. The path node then, um, what I can do here is inside each of these zip files, um, there may be subfolders and subfolders and so on. If I want to save all of that folder structure, I will say full path names here, or I could say no path names or whatever. So I'm just gonna say that because I know that the files are just held inside there, but if any of them do happen to have subfolders with any other files in them, I need to keep that the same. And then, of course, if this is a password protected folder, then we need to put in some passwords there. 
So I'm going to extract all the files as individual files. Anything else that's in there, it will keep its file name and put everything inside my disks folder. So let's extract that. So that's extracted. So if I go across to my disks folder, you'll see that I have all the individual files now sitting in here. So that means in this particular instance, because these were all game um, files, I've now taken all of those game files out of those individual zip archives, and I now have them all just sitting there as, as disk files in this folder, and I can now use them inside my um, emulator. So that's using 7-Zip to help expand your archive file handling capabilities. So do make sure you grab a copy of that. It is totally free and it gives you a much, much better system than the built-in zip handling in Windows Explorer. Uh, not only lets you extract multiple files in one go, such as we've seen here, but also gives you access to RAR files and BZ2 files uh, and a range of others, which Windows just can't open for you without any help. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do like and subscribe. Every subscription helps grow the channel. And hopefully I will see you in another video very soon. Bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects, and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit my website.